um, the morning of Thursday, uh, March 19th, being that I work from home, I got up, sat at my computer, and the chest pressure was a little more intense and it wasn't going away sitting up and working. So that was the first day I was like, all right, something's, something's off. Uh, but worked through the day, didn't really think of it too much. Uh, but then the next day, Friday the 20th, I actually wound up, even though I work from home, wound up having to call out sick because I started to get body aches throughout my body. Uh, so I started to get, you know, pretty worried that day. But watching the news and hearing everything about New York City, I'm in Manhattan and New York City is short on tests and short on PPE. And unless you're really dire, we need to save those tests and PPE for, for first responders and people who really need this. So I, uh, I made a decision that day, I'm just gonna stay home, I'm gonna ride it out, and uh, I'll just monitor my symptoms. Uh, that was probably around 8 p.m. Sunday night. I started to have coughing fits, and every time I finished a coughing fit, it was the, <sighs> couldn't catch my breath. And at that point, I was like, something, again, your body's telling you something is wrong. Um, and I just, I just, later that night, I was going around midnight. I was so uncomfortable. I was so panic stricken that I was like, all right, let me, let me call an ambulance um, uh, and get to a hospital because something's wrong. I was having like a, a, a knife pain to the chest um, leading up to going to the hospital. Um, and that I had never experienced before. Um, and like I said, Anna says, nothing was, nothing was uh, resolving that. Um, and then, like I said, trying to sleep on my left side, um, I couldn't. I, I literally, like every time I was on my left, if I rolled over my left side, that's probably why I would like suddenly like get awake because it was just such intense pain uh, in my chest. And that I've never experienced anything like that before. When I was going to the hospital that night, being that I was having trouble breathing and I had watched enough news at that point to see that a lot of people go into the hospital and, and if they get hospitalized, it can be a sudden downturn. You might wind up on a respirator and if you wind up on a breathing apparatus, you might not even make it. And these were the thoughts that spiraled out of control that night for me. 